Hello friends, welcome to work with Nikunj and let's get started with duty analysis. Uh, so this uh, editorial is on India's project Cheetah. Okay. And it says a snap judgment means judgment which is decided or taken on the spur of the moment means in the moment that very time. Okay. Without considering considering other major things. Okay. Or with written warning means taken in the heat of the moment heat of the moment would be right word okay so uh, let's see what judgment uh, are they talking about every birth or death should not be seen as success or failure of project cheetah that, what they're trying to say is that uh, one single birth okay or one single death it shouldn't be seen like a project has failed failed or project has succeeded okay overall picture should be considered and next uh, stage, it is almost three months since South Africa sent a batch of 12 cheetahs to India and two have already died. So, it's three months ago when South Africa sent uh, 12 cheetahs to uh, batch bhe, bhe hai, India ko, and two of them died first. Okay, so pretty simple, right, in English. And taken along with the death of one of the eight cheetahs from Na Namibia, it had a free existing renal infection. So, one cheetah okay uh, from namibia it had uh, a renal infection renal means something related to kidneys okay renal kidney okay and it emerges that about 15 percent of the animals have not made it past the phase of first phase of india's ambitious project cheetah so if 100 uh, cheetahs were you know brought in india only uh, 85 percent were able to survive the first phase able to understand right 15% have not made it, means 85% have made it, okay? The aim is to establish a sustainable population of about 35 cheetahs in the next decade by bringing in a few every year from Africa. So, the aim, their aim, Indian government's aim is to establish a sustainable population, a population which can which can be sustained, which, which can be carried over in long run. Okay, up of about 35 cheetahs in the next decade. So in the next 10 years, there should be 35 cheetahs. Okay, and how they should be 35? What Indian government will do? Indian government will do. They will bring a few every year from Africa. Okay, that is how it will accumulate to 35. Right? Thus, it is implicit that there will be many deaths. So if these many cheetahs will be brought, some will, not everybody will, not every cheetah will survive, right? Some will die. So they, they are saying, Hindu people are saying that it is implicit. Implicit means, um, you know, not directly expressed, but inherently somewhere, okay, in the nature of something. So it is understood, okay, implicit here means understood that there will be many deaths also. Not everybody will survive among the animals if one factors in, both the natural lifespan of the cat as well as the challenges of adapting to Indian conditions. Okay. Yeah. So, factor in. Factor in is a phrasal verb. Uh, it means consider. So, there will be many deaths. Okay. If one considers, if they take into account, okay, the natural lifespan of, the ca of a cat. Okay. Cat is the family name. And the challenges, because when they will come from Africa to India, they will have to adapt to Indian conditions, right? Okay, so that is what they are trying to say. Implicit means uh, understood over here. And Daksha, one of the female cheetahs, died from injuries following a violent mating attempt by two males. So, two males were, you know, tried to, to uh, tried mating with her, okay, and because of which she died. She died from some injuries. Okay. Again, not entirely unexpected. So, not entirely as unexpected means it is expected a bit. Okay. From what is known about the predator's behavior. Okay. So, this is what you can expect expect from a predator's behavior. Predator means somebody who, uh, an, animal, an animal who hunts. Okay. Ordinarily, the success of wildlife breeding or program must be measured over longer intervals. So, what Hindu people are saying over here, the success of wildlife breeding. Breeding means, you know, the a setting in which, uh, you know, uh, 
cattle or any animal for that matter they produce children okay produce offspring all right so this uh, producing children program or the uh, this thing uh, yeah program it should be measured over longer intervals okay you have to take uh, 10 let's say 10 years of time to measure this effectiveness Okay, you cannot say that you know, in one year uh, you have to, you cannot measure in just one year or six months or like that. The increase in the loin population in Gir Gujarat as well as the tiger numbers have been the result of sustained efforts over decades. So they are saying that loin population in Gir Gujarat it has increased and tiger numbers have also increased and these are the results of sustained efforts, okay, efforts which have been carried over for the last many years, sorry, many decades, not years okay so that is why they are saying that you have to consider long uh, the, the success of this program in the long run not in the short term okay <clears throat> and it, this program they have also seen the wild cat count dip to precipitous levels so uh, it is not that the program if the program is overall successful there have been no small shortcomings there have been shortcomings there have been uh, instances where the wild cat count it dipped to precipitous level. Preci precipitous is fast and great means very greatly it dipped. Okay, to a very uh, less number because of, because of that diseases whatsoever reason. Therefore, it is yet premature to wane on the success of the cheetah transduction program. So. Indian government was, uh, you know, celebrating the, uh, has been celebrating the uh, Cheetah's translocation program all this while. But what Hindu people are saying that it is premature. That means they have to take some time they have to see how many Cheetahs are, you know, able to adapt to Indian circumstances. And then only they should do something on the success and things like that. So here is a phrase, Fraser work, way in means contribute or discuss. Okay. So it is premature to discuss on the success of Cheetah's translocation program. It should take uh, it should, they should take some time, and after that only they should discuss. However, the arrival of the Cheetahs in India was far from an ordinary event. This is what I mentioned that Indian government has been celebrating this event. Okay, it was not an ordinary event; it was an extraordinary event. For one, it capped decades of government planning and taken since 2009. Cap has been used here as a verb and it means that, you know, finish or complete with some decisive action. This is a new word for me or as well, the, this uses. Okay. Under this time, I was knowing the meaning of cap as, you know, to limit something, to stop something. But today I got to know that, you know, it also means complete or finish with a decisive uh, action. So, it's uh, the planning has been going on since long. Okay. All right to transport cheetah but uh, this government capped it that means it's finished it with a decisive action and uh, uh, it also underwent hearing in the supreme court and protracted negotiations ne protracted means something which is long in duration okay so the negotiations which took uh, place in a long run okay with two countries all right the complex logistics of choosing and ferrying the animals Simple, right? Fedding means transport from one place to another place through waterways or to whatever means. The Prime Minister's personal involvement in the enterprise as well as significant publicity effort by two government departments to promote the endeavor as India's ex exemplary, sorry, exemplary commitment to wildlife conservation. Okay. So it's a pretty long sentence and uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, it starts with for one, okay. So, they are giving the reasons, okay, that why it was an, an far from an ordinary event. Why was it an extraordinary event, okay. I have summarized the reasons. It kept the planning, okay. It gave a finishing touch to the all the planning which took place, all right. And this also underwent hearing in Supreme Court, okay. They were long, uh, you know, long term negotiation with two countries. Okay. Then complex logistics of choosing and transporting animals. Okay. 
Prime Minister's personal involvement in the enterprise as well as significant publicity effort. Okay, Prime Minister was himself involved in this, and uh, the PR was also done profusely. Okay, to promote the endeavor that how much effort Prime Minister is putting. Okay, or this central government is putting endeavor means uh, earnest and conscientious activity intended to uh, do or accomplish something. Okay, so accomplishment you can say. As India's ex exemplary commitment to wildlife conservation, exemplary means you know of one kind means uh, which doesn't have a match. So what they are trying to portray India over here as uh, such a country which does not have any parallel when it comes to wildlife conservation. Okay, so they were actually celebrating it, which I also mentioned uh, previously. And it is thus only natural that three times in three months reach cons consternation. Uh, on whether the conservation approach adopted by experts is based on sound principles. So, <clears throat> there were so many things behind, even Prime Minister was behind this project. Okay. And uh, so, it, that is why it is natural that in if three deaths occur in three months, it reaches consternation. Consternation means fear resulting from the awareness of danger. Okay. Fear basically. It raises fear on whether the conservation approach which they adopted was right or wrong. Okay. There is criticism that Kuno National Park is inadequate to host 20 cheetahs and that some ought to be in other centuries. So, there is also people criticize that, uh, you know, Kuno National Park is not adequate, means uh, it doesn't have sufficient capacity to host 20 cheetahs and some should be there in other centuries as well. The existing patch of animals lived far too long in captivity. So, before they were ferried and uh, all the time the negotiation was going on and other things were there, these animals were kept in captivity. They were not kept in open. Captivity means instead of being imprisoned. So, that also took a toll on their health and other mental conditions. Okay. And they were, they were excessively stressed and more vulnerable. Means more sensitive, more prone to... Uh, you know, uh, other harsh conditions. The argument goes. This is the argument. And the Cheetah's managers, however, underlined that the investment, such as in making the landscape adequately stocked with prey. Okay, so managers who were, uh, uh, you know, a part of Project Cheetah, they were, uh, they, you know, were, uh, they put important on this fact. Underlined means put important importance. The investment in making the landscape. Landscape is what? A uh, land which is for some use. Okay. Uh, distinct. Okay. So, uh, the land where cheetahs would be kept, they ha they, it had to be distinct, right? Uh, it should be stocked with prey, means uh, 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 prey on which uh, these cheetahs will feed on and consult consultations with experts in Namibia and South Africa. With actual experience in managing cheetahs, okay, the consultations also took place, right? And cultural traditions that minimize poaching and incentivize local companies to be productive of wild cats, okay? So, importance, the project managers are saying that uh, all these, uh, you know, importance should be given to all these facts, okay? Poaching means hunt illegally, okay? So, there are hunters who poach animals for their skin, for their, uh, you know, elephant's trunk and uh, things like that. So, uh, cultural traditions also should be there, which should minimize poaching and incentivize, means give, in, uh, give incentive to local communities to be protective of wild cats so that they can also protect the cheetahs are the right ones to help the species flourish. So, these points are the right ones to help their species uh, expand, flourish, okay. Given that the relocation program has been conceived as an experiment, so it, relocation program has been, you know, seen as an experiment, it is important that every death and every birth are not seen as markers of failure or success. So, it, is very, it becomes very important that each and every thing, okay, each and every death and every birth should not be, you know, each death should not be mourned upon and it should not be seen as a failure of this project and each death, birth should not be seen as a success, okay. Long run, long term uh, picture should be seen. However, they also ought to be clearly defined criteria with timelines that project manager must adhere to. So, um, 
with in terms of project managers there should be properly defined criteria and timelines which project manager must stick to okay to decide if course correction is warranted warranted means uh, justification okay so they can see they can um, consider and then they can decide if course correction is required is justified okay that means that course correction of what whether uh, cheetahs are you know properly taken care of or not if not then a course correction should be there and then uh, uh, it should be fine okay so that was today's tutorial let me know how did you uh, feel about it and uh, if you like this video if you think this video justify is justified to be liked please go ahead and like it and if not subscribed yet, please go ahead and uh, click here to subscribe. And RBI Grade B mock test is live on Practice Mock platform. I provide you the link. Please go ahead and take it. And fiction is already out uh, yesterday or due for yesterday. And uh, yeah, see you. Bye bye.